think I'm all ready to get started. Hello, everyone. It's me. Hi. And I'm back with another stream thingy. Um, so we're going to be playing uh, the final uh, two worlds of uh, Duck Dodgers for N64. Um, I'm also streaming this on Facebook uh, at the moment, um, to also, as well as YouTube and Twitch. Um, so, but yeah, for Facebook viewers, I've been streaming this game on, on Twitch and YouTube for the past a uh, couple nights. Um, however, I essentially, basically, I'm streaming on Facebook also, just to see as it's, just as a test to see how well I can, how well my PC and as well as my internet can handle streaming to, streaming to three uh, places at once. So we'll see how it goes. So far, I think it's going okay. Um, but yeah, Duck Dodgers, classic N64 game for me. But also very obscure. Not many people know about this game. It didn't sell very well. It didn't review very well. So, you know, I kind of want to see... I've been streaming... I've been streaming this game just to see, because, just to, I don't know, kind of give it the platform limelight is, it deserves. Um, so yeah. Anyway, let's get started. Um, we last uh, left off in the, on the snow planet. Um, so I really want to... Uh, get through that, and we're also gonna get to my favorite world, uh, Planet X. So, that'll be very fun. Let's get to it. We're gonna get the emulator set up, and... Also, if anyone can hear me okay, Oh, let's turn the music off. Okay, yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. All this hero stuff sure makes the duck tired. I know, right? Oh, get that duck! So we left off. Left off. Um. We, the third uh, homeworld was Yos Yosemite Sam's spaceship. Um, we went through that, uh, fought him in the boss battle, and we escaped the spaceship. And, but now, he shot us out of the sky, and we're now in, on planet P, the Arctic landing. This, our snow level. Oh, this is a cool, um, gag right here. We just... Oh, no. <laughs> like, I fucking love that. Like... Alright. Um, I think I'm just gonna end the stream on Facebook. Because... Because there's really no point to it, I don't, I don't think. I'm gonna... I'm gonna delete that. Okay. Alright. Okay, that's better. Now I feel like I could be more myself, you know? Um... But yeah, we're in Planet P. Uh, there are two worlds we can go to. Uh, this world is trapped in ice, so we can't get to it yet. We have to finish the other world first. Um, I've always loved that sound effect right there. Um, let's see. Ooh. These enemies right here. We can kick them, and we can get a little... Um, some health right there. 
Also, uh, if you're anyone's watching, let me know if we if you can hear me. Okay. I think my my audio is okay though. All right. Uh, this area we can jump out here and talk to Lola Bunny, who will give us an extra life. Just standing around like that will turn you into an ice cube, Dodgers. Take this take this extra try and go and find all the energy items on the planet. Good luck. Thank you, sexy bunny. Oh. Didn't know. <laughs> okay. There's an energy atom underwater here. Um, right here, and we can get that. <laughs> oh, okay. So these things right here. These fucking puffer fish. Just the muffled noises they make, they scare the shit out of me as a kid. Um, so, but... So there is a there is a glitch ba um right here uh, right here that always freaked me out. I stumbled across this as a kid. So basically, if you I'm gonna get rid of you real quick. I want to see if I can activate it. Um, basically, the glitch involves getting the pufferfish to literally follow you out of the water. I haven't really got done it yet though. Oh, there we go! Holy shit! Come on, do it. Oh my god. Come on. Can, can this thing hurt me? Oh my god. Like, that, that so, FYI, it's not supposed to do that. <laughs> um. I stumbled across this glitch when I played, when I was playing this at like, I don't know, nine, ten years old, and it freaked me the fuck out. But yeah, um, over here you'll see this area, however, we can't access it until we have how many atoms? 16 atoms. Uh, that is the boss area. Um, we have two more atoms here, but my microphone thought on. Uh, we have two more atoms here, but why don't we go ahead and uh, enter the first official level of the game, the Snowy River. And here we have a waterfall that's clearly man-made. Ow. And we need to find these platforms right here, and we missed it. Great. Uh, let's see. More. I need platform, please. Ugh. You know what? We're just gonna s s uh, swim. Swim. It's good. It's good. It's good exercise. Right. Hello, auto scroller. This section is basically a glorified auto scrolling section. <laughs> I've always liked this music though. Da, 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 da. All right, we have an atom right here. In an awkward camera angle. We get these snowmen right here. Um, they look friendly, because snowmen are generally, you know, friendly if they're anthropomorphic or alive. However, this guy is not friendly. Well, they're supposed to attack you. I don't know why that he didn't there, but... Anyway, we have one more atom to get in this level. Um, there... I believe it's... Ow. I believe it's over here. And this... Alcove. And perfect. Also, we have more of these creepy ass puffer fishes. Ugh, I do not like that noise. It's just that muffled hissing. Like, it just sends chills down my spine. Okay, and this is going a bit too slowly for me, so I'm just gonna take this shortcut right here. And we're gonna... And there's the exit over here, and got all the atoms, awesome.
Here are the, here's the second section of the level, uh, the fish pond. Get the atom right there. And get over here. Yeah, so that's what the that's what the snowmen do. They literally attack you. Um, also, we have we, here we are introduced to our to another enemy, the giant pufferfish. This thing scared me, scared the shit on me. Also, like, ugh, do not like that. Ow. Okay, this this part's a bit awkward. Um, got him. Ow. Okay, come on, come on. Awkward camera angle. Got a lot of the N64 people. <laughs> uh, let's see. Where do I? All right, cool. Sorry about that. Just had to tweak something. And, oh, so if this thing catches you, so yeah, don't let that happen. All right, so let's see. Jump over here and great. Perfect. Okay, this is a pretty cool. This is a pretty cool section. So what we have to do here is free these walruses from the igloos, and the father walrus up there will uh, open the exit for us. So why don't we go talk to him? Jump over here. All right. Here you are. This guy's adorable. My four kids are locked in those ice cells. Save them, and I'll help you get past this door. Hmm. No problem, dude. All right, so we have to... Let's go to the furthest one over there. And, yeah. Bonk, bonk. No, oh, I missed you. You can, like... Oh. So you can... A lot of times you can just bonk on their heads and it'll send you flying up towards the ceiling. It's pretty fun. To, it's, fun it's pretty fun when you can pull it off, but... Oh. Jump here. Oh, here we go. <laughs> this game brings this game brings me back so many memories. Like, I played this game. I think I mentioned it last stream also, but like, I think I. So I this was one of two games I played on the N sixty four because when. My older sister and I first got our N64 in two, 2002, I want to say. Um, I was seven years old, and it was this game and Mario Party 3. This was all we had for quite a while. And of course later I would play uh, Mario 64, um, uh, Doggy, Doggy Kong 64, and Banjo-Kazooie, all those classics. But... For a while, this game and Mario Party 3 was all was all we had, essentially. Um, so yeah, I just have a lot of memories about this game. 
and that's why I think it's it's kind of it's kind of sucks that it isn't as fondly remembered. Because is it is it, is it the best game in the world? No, but is it clearly a product of its time? Yes, but you know I still have a lot of fondness towards it. Honestly, though, I do think the game holds up for the most part, because while it's because while it's very simple in its design, um, I think the level design, especially in the later uh, worlds, which we'll get to, um, the level design is still very creative, and the soundtrack is pretty amazing. It's like listen to this. It's like this is kind of epic. Ow. I'm gonna bounce on you, I'm gonna bounce on you, and I missed the jump. Alright. Alright, you got the atom here. Yeah. Alright, where's the other atom? I think it's, uh... Oh, there's two more atoms. So I think there's one underwater somewhere. Let's see. Now, if I remember correctly, there's a cave somewhere. Oh, lord. I do not like that thing. Alright. And... Get this thing. Oh, I missed it. Damn you, depth perception. Okay. And I think there's one more atom now. And I know where it is. I know where it is. Oh, there it is. I see it up there. Honestly, considering how bad draw the draw distances were for games back then, back in these days, I'm impressed that that the atom spawned from that that far distance. So what you're supposed to do is go under here to get the atom. But as a kid, I was always so so, so terrified of the power fit of the power fish that I would always do this. Like I would just get the atom this way. Just be, be right above it, and... Oh, I got it! <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Alright, no items here. We are good to go, people. Just as soon as we get up this icy slope. Alright, talk to you. Thanks for helping us. The door is open now. Maybe I will see you later. Some foreshadowing. We do see him later, but not for anything truly special. Alright, so we have a new area unlocked. So why don't we go um, check it out. This is a cool theme, by the way. Like, it's very mysterious and cold, which fits perfectly for an ice level. Alright, we can go in this py this pyramid right here. However, there is something at the top of... Oh, there's an atom over there. I need to get that in a second. Um, right, there's an, there is an atom all the way up here. And we are all the way at the top. Now I want to jump down and and break my and break my neck. <laughs> it's a good thing Daffy has feet of steel. All right, we are in our second level of the of the, of the hub world of the home world, um, the Ancient Pyramid. However, this is a pretty short level. Um, only one section, just... Ow. But these things can squish you, so watch out. But luckily, we can get some health, some free health right here. Beautiful. Devilishly clever. You are devilishly clever, Daffy. You sexy duck. 
Ow. Ooh, extra life. Okay. Do. No. Uh, oh. Okay, depth perception is a bitch in this level. So, watch out. Oh! Uh, I don't know what happened there. Anyway. At some point in this playthrough, I do want to uh, show off uh, the cutscenes that occur when you lose all your lives. Ooh, we have an atom over here. I missed that the first time. Perfect. Now, let's get back there. Beautiful. Ow. Okay, um, I'm gonna... I don't know why I'm going for this. Just satisfaction. Lives are pretty meaningless in this game anyway, so... I don't know why I'm bothering, but... Especially when I'm gonna die anyway. Nope, I'm good. It's just compulsion, you know? Must. Collect. Everything. Maybe that's why, since even though 3D platformers are my fav one of my favorite game genres, I'm kind of awful at finishing them because I get so hung up on collecting every single thing, and I, then I get burned out, and then I, I never finish the game. I'm like that with a lot of games, honestly. But I've, I've, I've learned to not be as... Um, what's the word? Uh... Obsessive about it. I've always loved that detail. Getting, getting, exiting the pyramid shoots you out and opens the entrance to the second, well, the th well, technically the third. Ow, the third uh, level of the game. I mean, of this level, of this hub world. I am really good at talking. All right, where's that final atom here? I, I need to get that. All right. Ooh, watch out for falling platforms. Watch out for weird alien purple penguins. I think they're penguins. I'm not sure. But they're annoying me, so so I'm going to kill them. Ow. Okay, so let's see. Pew. Pew. Hang on one second. Okay. Then wear a jacket. Alright, we are in our second official Well, third. If you count the if you don't if you don't count third if you count the pyramid. I, I consider the pyramid more of a mini level, more more or less. Um But we are in the towering cavern. This was always one of my least favorite levels for some reason, just because it was so dank compared to everything else in the game. But there is a cool section coming up um, featuring a cameo from a certain classic Looney Tunes character. Alright, there's an atom in here. We just gotta dislodge it from the uh, crevice. And of course, we love this underwater theme. Perfect. 
Perfect. Alright. So, let's see. Where's the exit? Oh, over here. Alright. Ah, oh, oh! It's our favorite daddy old walrus. I'm happy to see you again. Try racing in the nearby downhill course. There is a big prize waiting for the person who beats the fastest time. Yeah, remember when he said earlier he'll we'll, he'll see us again later? Well, this is basically what he meant by that. Alright, so we have a little slidey ra sliding race. However, the controls here are fucking wonky. But it's pretty easy once you know the layout and you can... Okay. Alright, my dude. Oh, God. Uh, I know, no, I don't want to exit. Fucking hell. Jumping ahead just gives, gives us a good head start. Hey. Come on. Okay, Daffy, I know you can go faster than this. Oh, fuck. Yeah, your success rate with this section greatly depends on... Oh, perfect. Alright. Congratulations! You've set a new record for the downhill race. Now, and here's your prize. Enter the teleporter behind you to retry the race. Yes, so right here, we beat the record for 45 seconds. We, we made it under, under here in under 45 seconds, but we can, we can get a second atom by beating the race in under 41 seconds. So let's see if we can do that. Not gonna lie, this part always gave me a bit of trouble. But I have a feeling as, as an adult, it won't be too bad. You're hurting me. Ow. Ugh. You gotta love janky N64 controls. Oh god. Okay, just... We're making... That's good distance. Come on. Oh, fuck. Okay. I think I kind of glitched my way through it. Accidentally. Mr. Walrus, I want to talk to you. That was a terrific race. You are the best I've seen in a long time. Here's your prize. There are no more prizes for you to win, but you can re retry the race if you want to. Mm, no thanks. I'm a very extrinsic player. If I don't get anything for it, don't care. Alright, we are in the Snowman's Cavern. And here we are. We have a cameo from... Everyone's favorite, I don't, know fa I don't know about favorite, but everyone's one of ev one of the most iconic Looney Tunes characters, the Abominable Snowman. If he catches you, he'll do that. Just like he did in the classic short. Two items here. I will love you. I will love you and call you George. Duh. Hi, George. Anyway. Okay, so let's just go over here. We have an ice we have an ice wall blocking the way, but if we use the power of reflect refracting light, a la kinda of like Spirit Temple, Legend of Zelda. Um We can melt the ice.
and yeah. Um, however, beware, he can still grab you from that distance. <laughs> so, oh, uh, camera, camera. Oh, here we go. All right, now we can go up here. We're basically we're basically doing some vertical platforming, in a sense. All right, there's the exit. But before we go in there, we can head over here and get this atom and be on our merry way. Exiting there. Perfect. Sixteen atoms. Awesome. Now we can enter <clears throat> the... Well, it's essentially the boss area, but it starts out as a normal level. We'll see what happens towards the end, but... But yeah. Ow. Perfect. Alright. Enter here. And we are at the Hidden Lake. This is one of my favorite uh, musical tracks in the game. It's it's just so... It's kind of out of place because it's, like, legitimately beautiful. But... It just has this, like, warm, magical... But yet mysterious feeling... Feel, uh, uh, vibe. So we have a waterfall over here, and... But well, we're not gonna go down there. We're going to hop off here. Oh! Oh shit. I forgot, there's an atom up there. Um... Right. This is kind of... Okay, so... Getting this is kind of awkward, but we just gotta jump right here, and... Perfect. And we have an extra life we can grab right here. Even though I don't need it, I still... Like, you know. I see a shiny thing, I have to get it. See, even if I'm not rich... They're like, it's like collecting coins in Mario. Ugh, I don't like that. I don't like you. You just have to grab all the coins even if they don't do anything. Except in Mario Odyssey, where they are actually a currency, but I digress. Alright, so we have... We find this hidden underwater cave, which leads to this section. Perfect. Um, we... We're essentially in Atlantis. But this is one of the more creative levels, in my opinion. Unfortunately, the NPCs here are kind of bland. Hello, and welcome to our beautiful underwater city. Like, that's it. That's all they say. Like, there's one guy you can talk to over here also, but... Hello. Like, what riveting... What riveting NPCs? Like, so so much character. Yeah, if you're low on health, you can go in this pool right here, and it'll... refill you. But... I don't, we don't really need it. Oh, here we can talk to the king, but again, he doesn't really say anything... that interesting either. You are welcome to enjoy your visit to our fine city. You should be careful, because dangers do exist. Thanks for the tip, your highness. Anyway, so we're gonna- oh! Hi, I've got you tabbed open so I can give you view time. Oh, hi Lex, thank you! Always happy to- Always happy to have you on my stream. 
Ow. Hopefully you can see some improvements I made since you were last on my stream. Um, I have I have better I have a better mic now. I have better lighting. I have um, a more professional uh, overall layout, which is nice. So we have an, we have a, we have a maze here. We have to go through the. Essentially, um, you're, you'll be fine here as long as you avoid the the darker tinted, the dark tinted uh, floor panels. Not gonna lie, I still get lost in here a bit. Um, let's see. Let's see. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, where am I going? Oh, here we are. Oh. I think it's over here. No, that's where I started. Let's see. Oh. Uh, didn't I just... Oh, wait. I'm here. Awesome. No, wait, I'm not. Ah, oh, fuck. I hope those floors... I hope those floor panels resp respawn. Uh, they're not going to. Alright, we gotta... We gotta die and restart that. That was my fault. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go over here. Hello, hello to you too, I don't care. Ow. Alright, I'm gonna go over here. Avoid those. Let's see if I can... I've played this game non-stop since I was like seven, and I still could not rem I still could never get the layout of this place. Of this of the maze anyway. Oh, come on. I think I'm just going I'm I think I'm just going in a circle. So let's go over here. Then head over here, and, oh, there we go. Progress! There we go. Great. Uh, oh, here we go. Wait. Oh, we got another maze. Okay. Okay, um... I legitimately have no idea where I am. Um, okay. Concentration mode. Oh, there we go. And... There we go, exit. Alright. Now... Very clever. Boss... Boss time. But this time, it's a secret boss. Hello, Marvin. Is it your birthday today? No? 
No matter, because I have a large gift for you anyway. Good luck playing with it, and I hope you have a lot of fun. That was my attempt at a Bur Marvin the Martian impression, and... Okay, worst birthday present ever. Marvin, can you... Can you give me a gift receipt so I can exchange it? Okay, anyway, this boss battle is pretty- is very easy, though. We just have to avoid his, uh, his attacks, and then he'll stop the ground, and these uh, platforms will fall off. Um, but as long as you're- as you stay on the the lighter colored uh, floor tile, um, you'll be fine. This boss isn't bad, it's just kind of tedious, because there's no way to- speed run it really it's also you're not really fighting it you're just making it kill itself in that sense it kind of reminds ow it kind of reminds me of um kind of reminds me of a uh, the oil drum boss from from Donkey Kong Country 1. Like, you don't really attack it. He just stomps the ground enough times and it kills and, it, and then it kills itself. And that's 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 basically what this boss is. All right. Oh shit. He does get faster though. Um as the fight goes on, so you do have to watch out for that. Also, his counterattack right here, where he chases you, the cycle increases every for every hit. So th that that time it was three times. Um, the final time will be four times. That so you have to avoid his. You have to outrun him. Oh lord. I can definitely see it. He's getting faster. Or maybe it's just me. Oh lord. Oh uh, god. I do not like that. Oh my god, can you just die already? Alright. And... Down you go. Yeah, Daffy, you're so tough for taking down a giant hunk of rock. And with that, we are done with, and that, with that, we are done with Planet P. Yes, I know what jokes you're thinking of, if you're, um, for anyone watching, I know what jokes you're thinking of. You are en route to Planet X. There you will find Marvin for the final time. You can depend can on you me. do it, Dodgers? Alright, for any new viewers, uh, I apologize for the overlapping, uh, cutscene audio. Um, that's an emulation issue. I cannot fix it. I've, tr believe me, I've tried everything. But luckily, there are, this game isn't very story-driven, and there aren't many cutscenes, so it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> Alright. So we are on Planet X. My favorite, uh, hub world in the entire game. Because this is where the game really takes advantage of the, of the space theme. 
Oblique, oblique, oblique. We've chased Marvin to his hidden lab on the oblique, 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 oblique planet X. Find him and defeat him once and for all before he oblique, blows up the Earth. This music. No. This is my favorite track in the game. Hands down. Like, it just. Its vibe is just quintessential carefree fun. All right, so we can go in these X-shaped caves, and we can... These aren't really much to go home about. We just have to... There are three of four, there, there are about three or four of these caves, and we just have to avoid, um, the scary, the scary wrestler dude. Excuse me. I'll show you what happens if he catches you, though. He'll just, um, he'll literally curl you into a ball and toss you about. He did used to scare me, though, because, like... Like, he's a burly... He's a burly man. He's a burly Neanderthal who... Like... Can crush you mer mercilessly. Like, what kid wouldn't be terrified of that? Or maybe I'll just a... Pussy. That's certainly possible. One thing I did, always did love doing, though, was letting him chase me all the way to the exit, and then letting him throw me out of the level. <laughs> I don't know why, I just get a kick out of that. Alright. Um, so we can go up here, if we want to. Just gotta get the atom here. And this, uh, door will lead us into Marvin's lab. However, we don't have enough atoms yet, apparently. If you find all six atoms, I will let you pass through the, this locked door. So that's what we gotta do. So let's see. There's one atom in the main uh, in the main uh, area. Also, yeah, these X's will pop up at various points and certain levels. If you step on it, well, that'll happen. All right, get this atom right here. If we can depend on you, then the universe truly is doomed. Right, three atoms. So I think... Yeah, let's go ahead and do this while we're here. Um, so we have a spaceship section. And the controls here are very loose. So it's v very easy to lose track of yourself. But yeah, if we go to this area, we can we can find a little um hidden area all the way out here. And that's it, really. 
Although if you want, you can try to catch these things stealing our, um, our health thingies. And if you kill him, you get all the one, you get all of your, these are called quartz, I think. Quartzes. These don't really do anything, they just refill your health. Collect 50 of them and you get an extra life. Really all there is to it. Very riveting gameplay, I know. Waiting, waiting. There is one thing I want to show off real quick, though, with regarding this area. Um, if you if you go out of bounds, um, let's see how long it takes to trigger it. If you go out of bounds here, um. Your ship will basically explode, and kaboom. So don't, don't do that. That happened to me once. Uh, uh, game. I want to go back. Uh, okay. This game's code is super weird. Alright, uh, I think we have to... Okay. Cavern Beta. Same just as the last one. Just avoid the burly... Just avoid the burly caveman dude, and... I, I don't even know what he is. That's what's so... odd about it. I barely made that jump. Alright. And I think there's one more cavern we can do. Let's see. We did that one. We did we we did the one all the way out. I don't think we did this one yet. Yeah, no, we didn't. Okay. Cavern Alpha. Um, okay, I totally forgot where... Oh wait, I know where it is. It's hidden behind here. Alright. I'm gonna do this again. <laughs> I don't care how old I am. I will never get tired of that. Ooh, avoid that. We have six, we have six items now. Love that for her. Alright, I would love... Okay. Yo, Martian, open the door. Ah, you are very cool to have found all six of those lovely energy atoms. I'm happy to open the door for you. Thank you. Here we are in Marvin's lab. And this leads to the final, um, uh, area, but we need 18 atoms. And we only have six, so we still have a bit of ways to go. Um, oh my god, I love this music. I love this, I love this music. Sounds like music you hear at the end of a, um, <laughs> of a sports movie or something. <laughs> yeah, never understood this. But, whatever. <clears throat> B. 
But yeah, there are no atoms here, so we can just head on into... Fucking epic, man. Alright, these are our two uh, main levels of the planet. Um, and this is where the level design in this game gets very creative. So here we have Cecil's Flying Toy. And, we ha and, we're, and we're introduced to a new enemy type, these uh, robot eggs. We can kill them with a, a simple kick. However, they leave some residue on the floor that is very slippery to touch. So watch out. This is where the game really loves its bottomless, its, uh, why did I say bottomless pits? Um, this is where the game really loves its, um, uh, plat, floating platforms. Why did it take me, why did it take me so long to think of that phrase? I can depend on you. Alright. See so if I can make that jump. There we go. The great thing about Daffy's twitchy-ass jump is that you can get some great distance here with it. It's almost game-breaking, because you can avoid large sections of platforming... You can avoid large platforming sections entirely if you time your jumps just, just right. And we here we have Cecil Turtle, another iconic Looney Tunes character. I have the speedy new toy. Race through the rings as fast as you can with it. Use Z to activate its boost, but it will only work for a short time. All right. So this is very similar to the helipack we we used in uh, the third hub world on this on Sam's spaceship. Um, however, the controls here are way more uh, finicky. Um, you guys ready to play? You guys ready to play Superman sixty four? I will say though, this is a lot easier on an Xbox controller than it was on on an on an N sixty four controller. All right, that was a fast race and almost as quick as me. Here's a reward for your good time. All right. Um. Oh, cool. Here we have a zero gravity area. Cool. And the walls are bouncy for some reason. Ow. Okay. My fault. Hey. Get out. And now we're, we have entered an area that's very slow-mo. And this is, this is a fun detail. Daffy's voice clips are slowed down too. Love that. Um, so, but, but we go through this gate right here, and now we're super fast. And the same as the same as before, Davy's voice clips are now sped up. Like, like so. Honestly, very cool detail. Also, don't touch those pipes, because they are hot to touch. Uh, go over here. 
Where's the other? Where's the? There's another atom over here. I, I know there's. I know there's an atom in here. Uh. Okay. I know there's an atom in here. Oh, there it is. Perfect. And now we're back to regular speed. We are at the egg hatchery. I'm just gonna die here because I need the health. All right. The exit is right here, but something's blocking the way. Hmm. I wonder if we can find a bomb. All right. Get the atom here. Uh, I forget where the other, other... Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, we could have killed the eggs out down there, but the... Uh, the domes up there will just respawn them, so we're not gonna bother. All right, all we need to do here is... Bada-boom, and we are out. All right, and similar to uh, that level in Sam's spaceship, uh, we have another FPS section. It always reminded me... I know this is very clearly Doom inspired, um, but because I've been playing Metroid Prime late lately, this is just making me think of Metroid, Metroid Prime. And yes, I know this game came out first, but still. All right, let's go this way and. Kind of surprised the FPS controls. The first person, sorry, the the first person controls are honestly not that bad, which is surprising, because usually, especially when it's just, especially when it's used just used as a gimmick for a level, um, a lot of times this controls poorly. But in this game, it's not that bad. Uh, did I get the atom already, or? I did not. Nope. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, watch out for that. Cause I, I honestly forget where the next item is. Um. Wait. Oh, wait. I forgot which door I came out of. Oh! Alright. Alright, got the last atom in here, so we can make our way towards the exit. It is very easy to get lost in here, so watch out. Uh, let's get rid of you. Get rid of you. Alright, and the exit. Here we are.
Here we are. Uh, no, no, no. I don't want to go back in there. No. Go out. We are done in here. Very clever. You are very clever. Alright, so now we can access the second official level of this homeworld. And this is probably my favorite level in the game, hands down. Because, you know, this, this level takes full advantage of the space theme. Which you would hope to in a Duck Dodgers related uh, thing. Also, another an, another epic uh, uh another epic uh what's the word um musical track. <laughs> And these sections are pretty linear, too, which is nice. You can depend on me. That wasn't easy. That wasn't. That wasn't easy, Adam. Okay, careful with those platforms because it's very easy to overshoot your jump. Devilishly clever. Devilishly clever. Let's go down here. This section's pretty straightforward. Just gotta avoid those uh, weird UFO things. Robots. I'm not entirely sure what they are, to be honest. Alright. We have our... We, have, we are in the Delta Space Zone. We just gotta jetpack over here. And here's where we're introduced to one of the weirdest and creepiest enemies. The Green Martians. These things, these guys will cause the music to stop and they will literally chase you and it's fucking creepy. And then they'll peck you. I didn't know at the time when I was a kid, when, when I was a kid I thought, my cousin and I would, would would play this game, and we'd always get f so freaked out by these things. We always called them uh, the green chickens. Luckily, if they they cannot float in space, so they'll just fall to their deaths. Usually, there is a glitch that causes them to literally uh, chase you across bombless pits. Hey. Daffy, get up on the thing. Okay. See, they're supposed to fall, but, like, they're literally chasing you. They're literally walking on air. Like, what the fuck? My dude. Oh. No, no. Come on. I want you both to chase me. Chase me! No! You! Come back. Meow! <laughs> I'm entertaining myself. I think... They're coming my way. Now we're gonna. Uh, let's see if they chase me over. They were this close to uh, chasing me over here. Like, that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> the Epsilon Space Zone. Here we have our favorite. Turtle again. If you wear my new toy, 
The towers won't shoot you. They will think you are just another ordinary Martian. So yeah, basically what he said. It's a very convincing disguise. But it's convincing enough for these things. These towers will shoot you on sight if you remove the costume. So, watch out. Dun 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 Alright. Checking on something there. Getting some stealth elements in this Duck Dodgers game. And this this will fool the Martians as well, for some reason. The towers, I understand. The Martians, like... I always love, like, tiptoeing around with them. Very fun. However, move the costume, and... And, okay. Okay. Making sure they weren't gonna chase me over here. Um, let's see. Ow, 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 oh god. Nice save. Alright, got some more towers over here, so we're just gonna grab this conveniently placed costume. And we are home free. We have one atom to get, and it's right here. And we have our exit. Awesome. Um, did I miss something? I feel like... So yeah, um, I think I'm missing an atom. I'm missing two atoms, cause... Oh no, I, I know, I know where they are. Fuck. I got so distracted by the green the green Martians chasing me that I totally overlooked the atoms in the second in the second section of this level. My fault. Completely my fault. Sorry, Daffy. No pain, no game. Oh. Yep. I knew it. I fucking knew it. Okay. So there are two atoms we can get. Um, there's one over here. Um, and of course, they're guarded by these green Martians. Oh, fuck. Okay. And... And there's one over here. Perfect. Alright, 20 atoms. We are good to go. Oh, no, 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 no. Fuck. I did not mean to do that. Uh -huh. 
All right, just gonna speed run through this section real quick so we can actually progress because we are almost done with the game. Literally almost done. We f we found all the atoms, atoms, so... All we have to do is... No. All we have to do is go through Marvin's final, final, um... Level. Go to, go through Marvin's lair and... And fight him and... Bada-boom. In, end of game. Okay, gotta do this again. Really sorry about that. Um, unfortunately, there if you miss a, if you miss some atoms and in like different sections, there isn't like, a fast travel or a way to backtrack. Usually, so you just gotta replay the whole level over. I, I, I honestly don't know what he's saying there. Because his voice, the voice acting is so compressed because, you know, N64 game, it's a, it's a miracle that this game had voice acting at all. Because um, there wasn't much um, memory for, for full voice acting on the, the N64. So... But yeah, the com the voice clips are very compressed, so a lot of times it's hard to understand what he what he's saying. All right, we have all atoms, so we can officially go into this the final set of uh, set of levels. Okay, and the gimmick of this section is we are being transformed into. Uh, that weird design that Daffy got turned into in the Looney Tunes, in that one Looney Tunes short, uh, I think it was called Duck Amok, where, like, the artist kept basically fucking with his cartoon. And then, at the end, spoiler, spoilers for a 50-year-old, um, uh, Looney Tunes short, but, um, but at the end, it was revealed that the artist fucking with Daffy was Bugs Bunny. And he was like, Ain't I a stinker? Classic, um... Classic, uh, Looney Tunes. Short. Um, there was a sequel, too, called Out. There was a sequel called Rabbit Rampage. In which Bugs Bunny was the one getting toyed with. In his cartoon. And, again, spoiler alert for... 50 a 50 year old um uh looney tune short but uh the artist fucking with bugs bunny and that one was elmer fudd and he says he said he says something along the lines of haha i finally got even with that squee wabbit So, anyone watching, what was your fav- uh, if you grew up with Looney Tunes at all, uh, what was your favorite Looney Tunes- Looney Tunes short that you can remember? I have a- I have a ton of favorites. Um, I know I really like- Rabbit Rampage is a- is- a classic for that, um, classic. There's also... There's a ton of Bugs Bunny ones I can, uh, list. Um, I just can't think of them. Offhand. 
Oh, um, the trilogy of where da you know Daffy and uh, Bugs Bunny are fighting over which season it is. Rabbit season, duck season. Alright, so we are transformed back into Daffy. And here we are. The final defense into Marvin's lair. Kind of, kind of, kind of disappointing that they reuse the music from uh, the first uh, Hub World, the Desert Planet, but this is a good track, so I can't complain too much. And our here, and here's our final uh, Lola Bunny cameo. Good work, Dodgers. You are nearly ready to fight Marvin. To save the Earth, here is a final prize to help you. Thank you. <laughs> I shot your butt. And that's what I get. Doom, 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 doom. Alright, um... So we could go straight ahead, however... We need to find three keys to open this door. Alright, first key is over here. Surely put a wet floor sign. We need several wet floor signs. Um, I always forget. Oh, there it is. Oh, no, 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 fuck. Oh god. Doom 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 doom. I'll take that. Uh, what? I have to collect the keys again. Man, that's some bullshit. Alright, um... Here we go. And... Okay. Alright, uh, wait. I thought I got the... Oh, no, I didn't get the key. Here we go. And if we go over here, um, we can get... Also, be careful getting off this platform, because it moves very fast and it's very easy to... No, 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 no. Oh, God. Nice save. <laughs> You're devilishly clever, Daffy. You handsome little devil. Oh, Lord. Okay. That could have ended badly. Dun, 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 dun. 
All right, and here we have a little mini boss, um, a lactating uh, robot chicken. <laughs> a lactating robot chicken that shoots rockets. This game is weird, man. Like, what the fuck? No, I don't... Oh, God. Oh, fuck! Um... Okay, I swear I used to be better at this. Um... Okay, please don't let me have to click the keys again, because... Oh god, please don't make me collect the, collect the keys again. Oh, thank god. Okay. Alright. Oh, here we go. First hit. So basically... I forgot how much this boss kicked my ass. Oh, he also births robot... The rope. Apparently, these... This, uh, robot chicken is... The robot, oh fuck, is the robot Egg's mother. Who knew? Alright, if you could stop chasing me for a second, that would be great. Perfect. Oh god. Ooh. Come on. Uh. Um. Concentration mode. Alright. Surprising how much. Surprising how many hit points this boss has compared to the others. Especially how, how random it is. Like, why is this here? Uh, health, please. Oh. Oh, shit. Um. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, fuck. Ugh. Health, please. Oh god. Um. Okay. <laughs> well, that was fucking weird. Um, let's go fight Marvin, I guess. That's like that that that. That's such a weird thing to to put in before the final boss. Like, I, I want to know who came up, who came up with the, who. I wonder. Oh my God, I can't talk. I want to know who. I want to know who came up with that with that idea. All right, nothing there. Go in here, and we are at the final battle. Uh, again, kind of sucks that this is reused music from our, from earlier stages, <laughs> but it, it it fits. And here we have K9, uh, Marvin's dog over here. He doesn't really do anything. He he can't hurt you, but he will try to get in your way a little bit. It's so weird. The chicken is was hard is harder than the than Marvin's fight. Because all you have to do is shoot him when when his force field is down and avoid his attacks. Like it's very simple. It's almost like this. It's almost like this game is was made for five year olds. You 
J-Man time. How long is this game? Um, not very long. Uh, it's... Um, you can easily finish... If, if you know what you're doing, uh, you can easily finish it in, like, three hours, maybe. Because the levels aren't very long. There's five hub worlds... Um, okay, Marvin, put your shield down. Also, hi, J-Man. Welcome back. Uh, how are you doing today, tonight? I actually looked at your channel, actually, um, and I found out that you're quite popular. You've made a lot of, a lot of, um, hist- like, you- apparently you make a lot of videos about, um, hist- like, weapons d during various wars, and they've gotten quite a bit of views. Good. Awesome. Alright, and... Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay, can you... Bada bing, bada boom. Bada bing, bada boom. Duck Dodgers, return of dumbass. Congratulations, Dodgers. Return home at once, so we can begin the victory party. Is that him? <laughs> Is that him? I don't think so. <laughs> LOL, my channel was gonna be an animation channel, but people liked my military videos more. Yeah, that's always how it is when starting a, a YouTube channel, right? Um, like, you start out doing one niche. You always start out doing one, start out in one niche, thinking, oh, I'm gonna do this content. And then, other, you experiment, and then you with something else, and then that video does well, and you're like, okay, I guess I'm a X channel now. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking about, because I'm going to start putting a little bit more effort into YouTube, and it's kind of like music composed by Robert Dasbit. He did a stellar job. Also, this is a really good end, end credits theme. Very epic. Dun dun. Don't know why the um, the boss music from the first hub, from the from the desert world uh, world, is playing, but. You are, you are making me very angry. Localization testing, team leader, Garcia, merch, beta testing, lead QA analyst, Jason Coates, assistant lead, Rick Fish, additional QA analyst, I always try to read the, read the uh, names in the credits because these people worked on th these all these people worked on this game and it just didn't do well. Like it's kind of that's kind of sad. But I'm pretty sure they got paid well. 
I hope. <laughs> they could have added a background to the credits, though. Like, some sort of... Anything but a... But a blank blue void. So we collect all... I wonder what these developers are now. Um, that's a good question. I've 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 wondered that too. You move the controller and I save the universe. <laughs> so I want to look up real quick who did develop this. Oh, people call me Daffy. They say that I am Goonie. <clears throat> Just because I'm happy, it's no sign I'm Looney Tooney. Ta da! Um, doctors. Let's 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 do it. This is turning into a research stream. Let's look this up. Okay, let's see. To Wikipedia! Alright, developers... Uh, hang on a second, I'm gonna pause the emulation here. Real quick. There's one more thing I want to do with the game broke before we end the stream, but, um... But yeah, uh, let's see. The, it was developed by Paradigm in, um, Entertainment, uh, published by Infogrames, um... At least in the year 2000. Um, reception. Uh, Duck Dodgers got a good 7, uh, seven out of 10 from IGN. Well, so, that's nice. Uh, praising the game's presentation, but criticism with the blurry graphics and gameplay because of the super loose control and difficult character movements. I agree. Uh, overall, reviews are mixed. Yeah. That's understandable. But, um, yeah, let's look at Paradigm Entertainment. Uh, they what it was um a video game development company. Okay, so um oh uh, I just realized that was on screen. Okay, um sorry about that. I um sorry. I don't know why that's in the way. Uh, was the window? Okay, <laughs> sorry about that. Um um. But yeah, Paradigm Entertainment. Uh, um, they uh, they did they did create one of the one of the NXT fours. Well, they aided. Yeah, um, they aided. So they ha they assisted in development of Pilot Wing sixty four, uh, one of the main launch titles for the Nintendo sixty four, alongside Mars sixty four. So that's one notable thing. Um, so they also did. They also did, let's see, so not nothing much. Their last game was Stuntman Ignition for, in 2007 for the PS3, PS2, and Xbox, and Xbox 360. Um, nothing much, I guess. Uh, racing game, okay. Um, I want to go see, uh... I want to see where, um, let's see what Robert Daspit, the composer, I wonder what he did. Let's see, Robert Daspit, uh, video game, uh, composer, um, let's see, uh, I don't trust that website, okay. Um, Robert Daspit. Okay. Sorry, I'm 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 going down a, I'm going down a rabbit hole. For, um. Does he have any? Uh. Does he have uh any notable? Uh, credits. So I, I guess he goes by Bob Daspit sometimes. Um, uh, I think he, I think this is a, no, or no, no, this was a different, this is a different Bob Daspit, I think. Okay. Um, I need to find this dude. Uh, 
see, ugh, Duck Dodgers, N64, um, I found, I found it one time, um, I found, I, I did find, um, info about this guy one, at one point. Um, okay, uh, Robert Daspit is a games composer. He began working with Paradigm Entertainment. Uh, his first published game was, um, so it looks like the only thing, other thing he did was a Mission Impossible game in 2003. Um, for, for, which was multi-platform, um, but other than that, okay, here we go, um, he had a few credits, he did Spy Hunter, Term and f a few Terminator games and a Mission Impossible game, but that's really it, um, so yeah, anyway, uh, there's one more thing I want to do before... There's one more thing I want to do before we end the stream. Um, and that's show off what happens when you get a game over. So, let's let's do that. Hi, Ryan. New Owl City music is out on Friday. Hi, Jesse. Thanks for the info. I'm aware. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I wanna. But yeah, uh, if you're just if you're just, if you're just tuning in, Jesse, um, we just finished the game. I'm actually about to end it in a few minutes, but um, there we go. Um, did we get 100%? Oh my god, we missed an atom. Holy shit. Damn, that sucks. Um, anyway, what I want to show off real quick is what happens when you get a game over. Um, because there are some funny cutscenes involving Daffy getting fired <laughs> from his from from the from his mission. Alright, death number Sorry, this is tedious. I just want to. I. I. I really. I just really want to show this off before we end the stream. Nice. Glad you. Uh, nice. Glad you had a good time. You should try Wave Waster in '64, and, and inspired some of the new Owl City music. Ooh, that sounds cool. I. I believe I've, I've heard of Wave Waster '64. Um. Definitely gonna do that. Alright, I'm just gonna- I'm just dying, um, if you- uh, To get a game over, because it, it's, um, really funny. There- I believe there are two, uh, cutscenes that play when you get a game over. Um, Hello? not gonna spoil it, but, uh, yeah, th um, they're pretty funny. I need more water. Alright, one more time. Okay, there we go. Haven't played Wave Racer since 2004. Wow! Um... 
time for you to find another job, Dodgers. <laughs> Yeah, I never played Wave Racer. Um, is it any good? I heard of it because it's it's one of the games that a lot of people look fondly back on from that era. Oh shit! Um, so what I'm trying to do is I'm gonna, I'm dying, I'm dying enough times again to get a game over and, tr and to trigger the, ne the other, uh, cutscene. The other cutscene that plays when you get a game over is very funny. Uh, you get, um, basically, I, I don't want to spoil it. <laughs> it was... Uh, it was fun for... It was fun for its time, for time, but I don't know if a modern gamer would have find, find it fun today. Yeah. Hello. Unfortunately, that's, that's just how a lot of games are. Old games, anyway. Especially from that era. Oh, no. Honestly, games that do hold up still are the Spyro games, the original Spyro trilogy. Oh, no. Sp Spyro is one of my favorite. Sorry, Spyro is probably my most cherished game series, both from my childhood and in adulthood. All right, last, last one. Okay, Here we go. Cadet yes. With your new promotion, you must save the Earth from that Martian. I'll do my little bit of that, sir. And Daffy's a janitor. <laughs> Please try to do better than the other guy did. That's what he was supposed to say, but... Um, unfortunately, um, the overlapping audio and cutscenes is a bit of an issue with that. All right, um, it is, I think it's time to, I think it's time to, Wait a minute. Uh, call it quits here. Uh, it's a simple racing game like Mario Kart 64, but it can get boring if you're used to modern racing games. Yeah, from what I've seen, that seems to be the case. It, it's very basic. It's very. It looks from what from the footage I've seen. I've seen. It's very basic looking, but I'm sure it was innovative. It was innovative for its time. Anyway, this went pretty well. Um, it was so much fun playing this again. Um, again, Duck Dodgers, man, like... By the way, if you haven't, uh, check out the 2003 animated series that, was on, that aired on Cartoon Network. Um... Hands down, one of the funniest shows, uh, ever, and surprisingly had some good a some good action and really great and really great animation too that still holds up. Um, if anyone remembers anything from that series, it's uh, probably the Martian Queen, because anyone anyone who watched this <laughs> anyone who watched the show growing up um, had a huge crush on the Martian Queen. Um, actually, I'm gonna pull her up real quick. Uh... Uh... 
uh, right here. Not gonna lie, she... I'm gay, but, um... <laughs> Not gonna lie. I would fuck her. But, uh... <laughs> anyway, um... But yeah, Duck Dodgers, the, the game, it... I don't know if it holds up, because my, my nostalgia bias is very strong with that game because it was one of the first games I ever played but I still think it has some merit has some really creative level design some a really good soundtrack um so you know uh and thanks to emulation it this game is preserved because licensing games like game, games like that doesn't don't really get re-released and there, they would be lost of time if it weren't for, if it weren't for, em, 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 if it weren't for emulation, emulation. So, you know, awesome stuff. Anyway, um, I am rambling. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, I, I don't know what I'm gonna stream next, but my main idea is to stream God of War. Uh, 2018. Um, I just bought the PC version, and this will be a different for me because this will be a bit different for me because I this will be a game that I've never played before, and so you know, if I dedicate myself to a full playthrough, it'll be fun. I think it'll be fun seeing my first reactions, whereas games I've streamed before have been like games from my childhood or games I that I know inside and out so it'll be, it'll be interesting to play a game that I've, I've always wanted to play but never ne but never got around to but but streaming it I think it'll be fun um, after that I think I'm gonna stream a hat in time um, an indie 3d platformer uh, pretty popular. You might have heard of it. Um, I'm going to stream that, and I'm going to stream... And then I want to stream... Then I want to stream... Um, like... I wrote it down earlier. Uh, I want to stream... Celeste... Don Donkey Kong Country... Um, a game called Kaze and the Wild Masks, which I, ne I never played. Um, so yeah, I'm really, I'm really doing this. <laughs> so anyway, thank you all for watching. Uh, have a good night. Um, stay safe. Um, take care of yourselves. <laughs> and yeah, take care. Bye. Uh, now bye. Sorry. <laughs>